Right, welcome back to another kit video. Today I'm going to be discussing this boot cleaning kit. I think it's a German Army boot cleaning kit, but if someone knows what this is, all right, please leave a message on the comments. Let me know. I'm pretty sure it's German Army. This monster, I call it the ultimate boot cleaning kit. All right, if I had one of these when I was in, th in the forces, it would have saved me a lot of bother. <laughs> However, you got to go out buy your own boot cleaning kit and that. Didn't even know one of these existed right, until about a year ago. And I said, it solves everything. Comes in this rather nice rubbery type green, off green type material. And it's done up with a bit of string, green string. Okay. This is absolutely bomb proof. Uh, good points, bad points about this, this thing is. Uh, good points, it covers everything you need. Bad points, it's a bit bulky, as you can see. You wouldn't get that in a pouch, right? And the weight as well, right? So this is like a home edition, you, you want to call it that. Uh, I would, only thing I would personally would take out would be half a brush and a bit of boot cleaning kit, right? Uh, a bit of boot polish or dubbing or something like that. I wouldn't actually take this whole massive thing out with me. But what I'm gonna do now, open it, right? Cut the waffle down, show you what's in it. Right, comes out like a little tool kit. Alright, we'll start this end. Alright. Well, two little uh, studs. Alright, secures this down. You've got plasticky wire brush, which is really hard going. As you can see, I've given it some uh, good use over the year that I've had it. It was second hand when I got it, but everything was in good order. I got this from Military Mart. It only cost me about £5 pounds something. Alright, next brush. You've got a nice big docker heavy duty brush. All right. All right, I haven't used this one. All right, I've been using the other one. All right, so basically you've got a, this is my uh, boot brush I've been using, put my polish on. So really you've got one brush to knock the, uh, the mud off, one brush to put your uh, boot polish on or dubbing on. And if you like to shine your boots off, you got a clean brush there. Also, it's good for uh, wiping down your uh, uniform with or fishing gear or whatever. If you've got bits on it, you know, so I'll knock the dust off. All right, moving down. Now, this is where I was quite surprised with this. It comes with its own housewife. Housewife is an army term for a sewing kit. Loads of little buttons, all that type of good stuff, right? Which is quite cool. Right, that. Right, I would say it's part of a pull through, but I'm not sure. Right, pull through is what you put down your rifle to clean your rifle through with a bit of a flannel. It. Right, so yeah, I think it is part of a pull, pull through. Comes with this little string. All right, or rope, or what you want to call it. Obviously, that attaches to that. Sink it down. You can pull your rifle through. If you air rifle or whatever it is, you got. You have it. String as well, and a big docker needle that came with it. Like I said, I got this from Military Mart in Ormskirk, just outside of Liverpool. All right, moving down. Okay. As you said, I've been using these. All right, this is all right. It's a uh, creme push assures. Right, it's black boot polish. All right, it could be a French boot cleaning kit. This, I'm not sure. Shoe cream. It says S C H U H creme. All right, so yeah, it's black boot polish. All right, in layman's terms. All right, you get another one, which is that bad boy there. I've been using these. Okay, on, on my boots, and it's really heavy duty black boot polish, all right? Really, really heavy smell of boot polish, all fashion type of boot polish, all right? Then you've got this stuff here, right? <laughs> which is a, uh, it looks like it's spelt in French, all right? Basically, what I think this is, it's either a leather softener or it's a type of dubbing. But I've been putting this on my boots anyway because I think it's the dubbing. 
Right, I got told that you can't get dubbing anywhere now because they've stopped using it. Right, apparently it rots all the little laces, uh, all the little sewing seams on the boots. However, it's done me no harm on my boots. Right, and it's, this has kept my boots waterproof. Right, moving down to the final parts. Now, I found these ones quite funny. Right, I only get one out because it's a pain in the ass. Right, you get two of these, right. And this is like a mad type of a uh, toothbrush, but it's really for boots where you, where you can get in all the little seams and all the little gullies of the boots. And you get two of these, right? And this was commissioned in 1990 by the looks of it. So maybe it's French, maybe it's German or Swedish, I'm not sure. However, the lads of Military Mart, they sold me all this kit for about a fiver. It was complete, everything was complete. Uh, let's have a look, see if there's anything else in here. Oh yeah, you get this little twanky little wooden stick. All right. I think it's like a shoe on. All right, you get another one as well. Uh, to make it look like shoe ones, however, what I've been using them for on my boots is uh, the end bit there, is to get in the, uh, the bottoms of the boots, get all the mud out. Of the grips, of the treads. That's what I've been using these for. Right, so yeah, it's a pretty all-rounded kit. Bit of kit, good bit of kit. Well, well worth its money. All right, like I said, if you're online shopping a military mart and you see these, pick them up because they are uh, worth looking at. I might have to get some more of this uh, boot polish for them because it's that is pretty good stuff. Bad point about this stuff is, as you can see there, where it's come out. All right. I was squirting along the old uh, boot brush and it came out the sides of my hands, all, right, all over my hands, and I was like, right, fine. <laughs> but uh, like I said, I'll be using this kit to to do a restore, restoration job on one of the lads. He's got this uh, Russian tankies helmet and I'm going to get stuck to it in the next couple of days and get it sorted once I've got my head sorted. Anyway, that's another story. Anyway, cut the waffle down. Thanks for watching. Thanks.